In developing the Luno Code Lunar Rover, the Soviets went through a series of prototypes and tests. The first studies tried to determine what worked best for the lunar surface, wheels or tracks. Wheels were better, so the next step was to study several designs and materials under simulated moon gravity. In the end, the best solution was to have eight independently powered wheels. Terrain tests were conducted on volcanic zones in the Kamchatka Peninsula, thought at the time to resemble the lunar surface. These allowed to develop movement and control techniques. Here we see tests of the Rover TV camera system, with the drivers controlling the vehicle based on television screens. The Luno Code design was successful. Luno Code 1 landed on the moon in 1970 and traveled 10 kilometers followed by Luno Code 2 in 1973 traveling 37 kilometers. For the proposed Mars rovers, generically named Marsicod, further designs were tried. The principle of walking was tested and used on the small Prop M rover, part of the Mars 3 lander. Given the distance to Mars, these rovers need to be mostly autonomous and able to avoid obstacles as shown here. More intricate designs with multiple legs were also studied. Here we see tests of hazard avoidance by rotating the wheels and moving around an obstacle with no change to the rover orientation. Adjusting the body position to match the terrain was also under study, again with the objective of keeping the rover orientation unchanged. This is important for good positioning estimates while traveling long distances. To tackle Martian sand dunes, it was found that each wheel can be moved forward as it rotates, therefore improving traction. This feature was already present on the older Mars rover prototypes, leading to the more advanced wheeled crawl design shown here. A new concept for a universal Mars and Venus wind power rover was proposed in 1986. Each wheel has an independent drive and is able to move up and down significantly. The previous crawling ability is also retained, allowing the rover to drive over small rocks and climb over sandy slopes.
With the exception of the Prop M lander, part of the failed Mars 3 mission, no Marsicod moved beyond the prototype stage. After the fall of the Soviet Union some further prototypes were tested in the West, as for example the NASA Ames Marsicod. It underwent successful remote control trials in Hawaii and Arizona in 1995-96. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.